Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you to episode 2 of our Southwest Zoo. Today we're going to be putting in a coyote exhibit, but before we even get there, I'm going to go ahead and make an altar to our first exhibit. You might remember from the last episode, in the entrance, we put in a nice little desert tortoise display, and I realized that um, while the desert tortoise display looked wonderful, it unfortunately uh, did not have like an inside area for the tortoises, which means they would have to be outside all night, and I'm sure some drunken idiot's going to steal our turtles if we don't have an inside area uh, one evening. So we're going to go ahead and just make a little alteration to that first exhibit here, like we're doing right now. You can see me making those changes right in front of your eyes. It's amazing real-time action. That's what we pack here on the Zoo Tycoon or Steve channel. Then we're just going to put in a little sort of inside area they can go in and cozy up in at night. So I uh, put a little door here so our zookeepers can get into it. And this is just going to be on the back side of that uh, uh, the, the gift shop that we built last time. So it's going to be completely hidden from the public, but it's going to put my mind at ease. So that's what we're going for. Uh, just go ahead and throw this in here. Let me grab a door real quick to throw on it. There we go. And the zookeeper is going to have to take his smoke breaks uh, outside. So we did move the bench as well. Let's also go ahead and put in just a little bit of a storage area thing. One of these uh, uh, clipboards. So like uh, they're writing down information about our beautiful box tortoises. And we'll even put a ceiling on the whole thing just to make it super special awesome. So let's that out here. I want to get rid of that so it's not spilling over. Uh, do 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 Good. Not spilling over. Let's get rid of that thing. Oh, it did kind of change the look up front here. Might have to do a little bit of editing. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and put a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Go ahead and put a drop down there. So the entrance doesn't look huge. And the zookeeper should still be able to walk through that to get into the display if they need to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a fake wall here so it looks like it's framed correctly with uh, two of those beige beams sticking out through it so it doesn't look as weird from the outside. And now I think we're good enough. Let's go ahead and get to our coyote display. Our coyote. I don't know if you've ever actually seen a coyote. They're actually pretty small. Um, at least they were much smaller than I thought they were the first time I saw one. So let's go ahead and we're going to build a little uh, sort of coyote den. Uh, it's going to be both for our zookeepers and uh, for the actual animals themselves. They have a little indoor uh, sort of uh, go-to sleeping area. And then we're also going to use our inside area here as a way to divide the exhibit into two different outdoor areas. That way we could um, function like a real zoo where we have to occasionally uh, take the animals and split up the group. So if we've got a young male that's... Uh, feeling out, uh, feeling like he needs to start attacking our alpha male, or we need to keep the males and females separate during the breeding season, or during the non-breeding season, whatever, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a nice little two-air exhibit here. I'm going to use the wire fence up front. Yeah, and then we're just going to use the sort of scenery to disguise the fact that these are actually two areas, so hopefully to the guests it'll look like it's just one big paddock that they're all walking through, but through the magic of uh, the camera tricks and such, we're going to have two different areas. I'm trying right now to pick between the two, I realize now I have two different coyotes. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Um, I'm just kind of looking at what all the options would be. No, I don't want to actually see the crane. Coyote, uh, I think I'm going with... Okay, I'm going to go with this larger one. I'm not entirely sure where it's from. I know the other one comes from Hispa Designs, but uh, I'm going to go with the larger one, even though I just said the coyotes look smaller than I would expect them to, uh, just so that we can see them better from uh, the guest area. And I'm going to put in one of these little copies and one of the... Uh, put over a cave over there, as you saw. Then we'll just build it up using these rocks here, these coastal rocks, or these sandstone rocks, that's I think what they're called get the exact pack name, but I know you can get it at the Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki. I think it's actually based off of the Round Tree. Uh, if you go into uh, Round no, Tree, if you go to the Zoo Tycoon 2 Round Table in their download section uh, and just click on Rocks, you're going to find the pack with all these guys here. And I really like them. I think I'm going to try to use these rocks more and more. 
Uh, going through here, let's throw down a Joshua tree and some cacti. Again, just kind of blurring the uh, the edges between those two different areas. Do 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 do. And I know these cactuses come from the Hispa Designs um, website. Again, everything available uh, that I use at the Zukain 2 to download wiki. It's where I start all my searches for mods. So if you can't find it there, it's on you. Can't find it there, it's on you. Woo hoo! I don't know why it turned into the DuckTales theme song there. I apologize. Or maybe not. The new DuckTales, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go ahead and check this from the guest view. It all looks fine, more or less. Um, so let's put in some of these uh, large auxiliary bushes. I'm going to use a lot of these throughout the zoo. I think that's going to be the main sort of plant I use to tie it, along with this chrysote bush. I think it's chrysote, eh? Maybe it's been anglicized to chrysote. I don't know. Leave it a comment below if you know how that's pronounced. I would love to know. Uh, sand path, sand path. Gonna keep up with the sand path. I guess really I could put down the invisible path and just use the sand, but uh, I don't think that would show enough, and I'd have to put down a border fence everywhere to distinguish it, so that's why I'm sticking with the sand path. Uh, we'll get rid of this little guideline I use when I kind of sketch things in. And just kind of trying to put in two uh, sort of viewing areas there. You can see I've extended a little bit to the left on the left-hand side, and I've uh, made sort of a box area on the right-hand side. And that's just so the guests will have extra room to walk around if they're trying to look at the coyotes. I keep saying it the funky way. The coyotes. Why do I... Why do I it's coyotes. I'm an American. I speak the King's English. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I am going to put a border fence in front of there, because I don't want anyone to stick their fingers through and get it butt enough by a Cody. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I think I'm just going to actually go... Yeah, I think I'm going to actually go with this hedge fence. Let's extend this out all the way to there, put in another Joshua tree. I don't know if I'm going to use head fetches anywhere else in this zoo. I just feel like, for some reason, it's going to work well here. So let's just go ahead and keep building up some of these rocks that look so good in this area. To make it feel like that uh, it was sort of foliaged out correctly. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Yes. Oh. Sorry, I just got distracted with the cats in my lap now. I'm trying to record. You're not helping. Oh, but you're going to sleep in my lap. Too cute. Must stay. Okay, let's go on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for uh, zookeeper only. Don't know if I even have one of those anymore. I think I might have taken out that pack. And if I don't have it, I'm not going to be super sorry because they tend to mess with the hitboxes. That's why I took the pack out. So yeah, let's move on with our lives. Um... No dogs. I said, let's move on with our lives. I'm just seeing if there's another sign another sign here. I don't think there's one that matches up exactly, so... Well, let's just uh, let's just throw in some character here. Kind of disguise the path a little bit. Uh, obviously, you're going to see it if you're looking straight down it, but um, you don't want to see it if you're in the actual viewing areas for the coyotes. Coyote. 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 It is funner to say it that way, with the Spanish uh, pronunciation. Alright, putting in a little fence area here. And uh, I'm just going to box that out so it's more of a walkway for the coyote. Uh -huh. Very good. And I just realized there was going to be a little bit of a uh, issue with the fact that there was no way for our zookeepers to get directly to the outside area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that fixed real quick. Altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. Um, and since we've got this empty area, I'm going to tie it into the front by using those Mexican buildings. Or the buildings from the Mexican pack, I guess is what I should call them. Because that's what they are. Doo -doo -doo. What? What is it? Oh, you're leaving me, huh, cat? You're abandoning me now in my time of need? Okay, just... What? 
And I got distracted by the cat again while I was recording. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm going to leave this professional and let you hear everything that goes on. Do do do. Dropping down uh, doorways and such so our zookeepers can get everywhere they need to go without having to walk through the same entrance as our actual animals. I want to keep that a little bit separate. Give them some dignity. Not a lot of dignity, just a little. Just enough to keep them coming back to pick up a paycheck. You know, it's not big headed or anything. But, uh, dropping these guys down here. And I'm just going to throw those little door covers on them. Because I think it looks nicer. <laughs> Uh, we'll keep the window... I'm keeping uh, a window door on the one that actually leads into the exhibit so the zookeeper can look out and see where the coyotes are. I think that's how it would be in the real life. At least that's how I would do it if I were running a zoo. If I ran a zoo, a totally original poem by me, beautiful, 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 beautiful. You can still kind of see the thing. I want to hide that a little bit. So we're going to do it like that. There we go. And by making sort of that zigzag area into the uh, paddock for the coyotes, you're going to be able to hide sort of the actual inside area from the guest. And that's what we're shooting for here. Um, give them a little workbench, maybe. those uh, pads, maybe a table. I don't know, it's a little cramped for a table. But we're going to go ahead and build up a inside den kind of thing here. Uh, just putting a cage on top. And then we're going to raise the roof. Yo, yo. Yeah. And brick there there. And get pretty close. Getting pretty close. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Let's see what this looks like real quick from the zookeepers. Running through, running through. Very good, very good, very good. Running through, running through, running through. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, everything goes through. No hitbox issues. Same thing for the turtles. I like turtles. So, they're not turtles, they're tortoises. Excuse me. Turtles would swim and have fins. Tortoises have feet and walks on the lands. And Terrorbrin is right out. And let's go ahead. This is something I'm going to commit to with the rest of the zoo. Is I'm going to put a signage up for every single animal. I've decided that I want my guests to be able to see what they're getting. So let's drop a real quick coyote sign. Not coyote sign, because I don't have accent marks, but it's a coyote sign. Yay! I think this is an invisible path back here, so it looks like we just set up those boards. Kind of decorate it with these plants. Kind of decorate it. Let's not go crazy or anything. A little rock to the side here. To kind of compensate for the fact that the word coyote is a little unbalanced. Not exactly centered. But uh, if we just add some extra rocks and stuff to that side, it's going to look like it was all planned out. Trust me, I'm a professional. It is true, I am a professional. YouTube pays me pennies on the hour your work, so uh, I do get paid for this, just almost nothing, whatever AdSense gives me. Click on the ads, people! I mean, do whatever you want, but click on the ads. Uh, dropping down a little, uh, little trash can, a little bench there in that area, so people have a city downy place. That's the technical term for it, city downy place. Um, put a donation box there, so people are encouraged to donate. And then we're gonna grab some rockage and move that out. Eh, it doesn't really fit, so let's throw in another Joshua tree, maybe? Nope. All right, I think we've got that fixed. So let's go ahead and do our walkthrough here at the Southwest Zoo. Uh, just real quick, so you can take a look at this new uh, area we put in for our desert tortoises. Um, which apparently the tortoises are all in, because I don't see any right now. So we'll check that out when we go on to the other side and uh, go through the zookeeper area. Yeah, all the tortoises are gone, so... Just trying to see. 
Yeah, they're gone. Let's go ahead and go inside then, and we'll look at the Coyote exhibit. I really do like how these buildings look. They look amazing, and they make a great entrance. Probably should put a turnstile or something in there, but I don't want to break the illusion. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, look! I see a sign. Honey, there's coyotes at the zoo. Let's go. Ch let's go check it out. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't think anyone would go in there. So. Let's see. I see some coyotes. Kind of give you a full view here. Uh, it doesn't look like any went inside the um, cave. That door is a little obvious now that I'm looking at it, but I'm going to leave it because I think it's justified. Mm -hmm. And I think everything blended in pretty well, too. Uh, so you can definitely tell there's like fencing there, but I don't think you can just instinctively say, oh, well, this is two different areas for the coyotes. I uh, don't see anyone's like using the little copy standy uppy thing in it. Oh look! Look! There was a little mousy thing running around. But nope, no coyotes there. So you could see them pretty well in the first area, so I'm not super bummed. I feel like if I was a guest at the zoo, I would feel very pleased with my coyote experience. So let's go ahead into the zookeeper area. Doing your job. You're holding down that bench well, sir. Uh, open this gate so I can hop in and take a look at what's going on with the desert tortoises. They might have all crowded in here because I did put a heat lamp. Yep, there they all are. How you doing, guys? Well, I see two of them. That's not all of them. The other ones must have been hiding. You know, when they go in the shells, they kind of look like rocks. Oh, no, I saw one down there. And here's a couple. Ah, how you doing, guy? Hey, guy. How you doing, guy? Okay, back in here. Back to life. Back to reality. Uh, the coyotes are running around. Very good. Don't bite me. Okay, let's go around here and just see... Just see what it looks like from the zookeeper side. Alright, that looks like an area we can work with and work in. Um, let's see. I put one of the coyotes in here when I set them out. Oh, there's our zookeeper for these. And she's actually walking around doing stuff. You see that, Larry? You see what she's doing? This is why Mia's getting the bonus this year. And by bonus, I mean she gets the employee of the month parking space. We're not giving extra money. You only have a few animals each. Alright, so th clearly they can get in and out of the area as, long as, as well as my zookeeper. And none of them are currently in the den, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and go out and see if any have managed to make it into area B over here. Hmm, not so much. But I put one down in area B so they can at least get out of it if they have to. They use this tunnel, I would assume, walked around and decided to go out here. So, fully functioning and looking pretty good. And that's, that's, uh, that's the Southwest Zoo Coyote display. I believe that's what we're going to go with. They are pack animals, so I'd expect them to get together uh, if I wasn't forcing them apart. So there we go. It's a good way to fill up that corner of the zoo right there with a beautiful little coyote display. Uh, let's do our customary zoom out, spin around, and then we're going to go ahead and check it on the map, giving you as many views as possible. It's a service I do for you, the viewer, going to map mode. And a couple of people asked, this is actually a medium-sized map, not a small map. Um, so, that's fun. I say that, now I have to double check. No, this is a small map. I apologize. Uh, this is a small map. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to actually like it below. Uh, if you want to keep up with this series or any of the other amazing series on my channel, subscribing is the best way to do that. And make sure you also hit that little notification bell too. Other than that, this is Zoo Tycooner Steve saying bye.